Welcome back, people, to No Decom. I'm AJ. I'm Daniel. And today, we're going to talk about pull up. Uh, Afghanistan <laughs> pull up. <laughs> okay, so uh, Biden is pulling out. He is. Whereas is um, a, it's a complete withdrawal. Right. Whereas Bush stayed in. Yes. Okay. Okay. So and, and so he's taking some criticism from the former president for uh, pulling out of Afghanistan. Um, why? Uh, his heart is broken, actually. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Bush. Uh, he's he's very sad. Mm-hmm. He's uh, he's worried about the women and children. Right. Over there. Right. And that's the reason he went over there in the first place, correct? Yeah, yeah the women and children. Was it worried about the ones in uh, Iraq also that were killed uh, during the uh, invasion? No. Okay, just want to no. be sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, so women and children, I guess maybe stability. I don't know. Yeah, uh, maybe Afghanistan would be another <laughs> hotbed again for the terrorism. Yeah, the uh, Al-Qaeda, ISIS, you know. Yeah. Um, probably his legacy is also, you know, on the line here. Um, I did hear a story that, uh, Taliban had killed 22 soldiers who were trying to surrender, but you know, they were seen as the enemy. So I suppose that's justified for them. Well, yeah. I mean, they colluded with the colluded. enemy. <sighs> Strong U S number one enemy. Okay. And, uh, so they were killed. Understandable. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, so um, this began under Trump, right? The withdrawal, or uh, it, was, it was at least talked about it? Well, Trump actually talked about it. He never did anything. Yeah. Just as, just like his uh, other life, is, uh, he talks about everything and doesn't do anything. I'll talk no action. Yeah. Hey, but he's a um, master negotiator. But he's a ultimate grabber. Oh. Oh, sorry. Yikes. Uh, yeah. We'll leave that one to um, others to decipher. But yeah. Um. Okay, so Biden pulling out is bad, staying in good. Well, they're saying uh, that uh, America will completely withdraw from Afghanistan in coming months, yeah. which would be by September 11th. So they picked September 11th because it is a significant date. Maybe an anniversary or something? Or? Yes, it's an anniversary for 9-11. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. The attacks... By and, the uh, Taliban, right? Uh, by Al Qaeda. Oh, that's right, Al Qaeda, Al Qaeda. Uh, yeah, not <laughs> Taliban. They're two different things. <laughs> Don't confuse people, AJ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so are they are they afraid that Taliban might come to America? And, um, well, they would need planes first, so. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think they can ride all their horses all the way here. <laughs> At least you didn't say camels, AJ. Yeah. That's, oh, that's well, good. Well, I'm glad you didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a right wing thing to say. Um, uh, for the stupid ones, because uh, <laughs> Afghanistan does not have any deserts. <laughs> oh, how little you know, AJ. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, um, okay. So, yeah. So, I guess that's the big fear, right? That it'll be another um, a breeding ground for terrorism. Yeah. Um, I mean, if you haven't stopped it by now, are you going to stop terrorism? Um, we can't even stop it in our own country from our own people. No. We're not going to stop it overseas. <coughs> but, yeah, let them dictate their own uh, futures and their own lives. I mean, what was our mission in the first place to go there? Our first mission was to get Al Qaeda. Laden, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. Al Qaeda. Yeah. Al Qaeda. Yeah. Um, well, that's done. Yeah, we got it. Allegedly. Um, I didn't see a body. We we didn't. Uh, that was another <laughs> Obama's misstep. He never showed the body. Yeah, it's throw him in the ocean. Yeah, that's good for the fishies. Um, yeah, so that that's done. That, that that objective is completed, right? Got what we wanted in Pakistan. Well, yeah, I mean that's <laughs> that was the number one reason to go there. Uh huh. So we built a base. We built the biggest base over there, hmm. and now we're going to hand it over to Afghan people, Afghan government, and eventually to Taliban. Yeah, which will swiftly lose it to the <laughs> Taliban. <laughs> <laughs> so, look, again, not real laughing matter. It's pretty um, horrible, obviously. But um, at some point, you just have to, you know, 
let them control their own lives. And um, if they want to fight, rise up against the Taliban and their draconian ways of life, well, you got to do it yourself. Can't do it for everybody. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's something the uh, United States have to learn, that uh, we cannot dictate our own way of thinking to other people. Maybe these people like it. Mm. Maybe they like the way uh, their lifestyle is. This is what they want. Maybe they don't want uh, four cars and uh, and a house and a dog. You know, maybe only three cars, yeah, and a house and a dog. Who knows? But that's for them to decide, not for us. Yeah, and, uh, we uh, we don't have to tell people how to live their lives uh, or what is moral to for them or what is not. I mean, if they want to keep their women in uh, at home. Not educated, well, that's their thing. Yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't work uh, the way we think it works. We're yeah. going to go impose your ideas on people. It doesn't, doesn't work out very well. I um, mean, just look at it uh, here. Uh, does it work on Republicans? Oh. They're, they're the Taliban's of, uh, of oh. the United States. Oh, AJ. That's very controversial. I mean, what, what did Texas do? Just pass an abortion law, correct? Yes. That women cannot have abortion after six weeks. And anybody can sue them or the abortion provider. Pretty draconian. <laughs> That's pretty antiquated thinking right there, but what are you going to do? Yeah. Well, look, 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 these are both right-wing ideologies. The Taliban is right-wing. They're right-wing. The Republicans, it's just different degrees. That's all. Yeah. Um, but that's yeah, that's that's the uh, and, and again to women and children. If if he was concerned about that, well, then why aren't we in Africa? Uh, there's a lot going on in Africa as well. Yeah, uh, why are we not in China? Well, why are, why are we not in Saudi Arabia? AJ, you're asking a lot of us. We're spread pretty thin as it is. Come yeah, on. yeah. So yeah, I think it's. Um, I wouldn't pay much attention. Um, it's just what it is. But I think uh, Bush is uh, sad is because uh, his friends are not going to be able to make money. I mean by military industrial complex. Wow. And by extension, maybe he's not going to make money? Oh, uh, he's not going to get the calls for the parties that, you know, yeah. usually he gets to go to. Well, look, it hurts when you're not invited, you know? To yeah. be left out, to be ostracized and forgotten. Um, well, we'll invite him on the podcast. Mr. Yeah. President, if you want to come on the podcast, please. You're always welcome here. Yeah. Uh, um, and the mass media is making a big deal out of, you know, uh, of this withdrawal also. Yeah, because they're part of the military industrial complex. Yes, and they're all they part are. of the same thing. So yeah. they promote it. They always have. It's understandable. They're looking for a war somewhere. You know who's not promoting it? Democracy Now!, Really? They don't do that. They don't wow. do it. So, anyway, just putting it out there. Um, yeah. Anything else on uh, the Afghanistan story? Pretty. Uh, so, um, do you think uh, this withdrawal will last or will be back again? Mm, I do. We're always back again. Always. Well, we're never too far away anyway. You know, we're always somewhere in the region. So, we'll deploy troops Eventually, uh, yeah. I mean, our aircraft carrier is always there. So yeah, it's not it's not really an issue. Yeah, we're, yeah, it's parked there. We're like helicopter parents. Yeah, we're just always hovering about. This, uh, yeah. Look, either it's this administration or the next one is Republican. Yeah, they'll be back. They always are, and they'll have some pretense for going in. Oh, we're seeing uh, more activity from Al Qaeda or ISIS, or they're plotting something. And okay, I mean, I thought uh, Biden would. Uh, was more of a hawk, but uh, we we have to give him credit where credit is due, and this is one of those places where you know it was long overdue, and I guess he's getting the job done. I'll give him partial credit. Yeah, like a like a schoolwork assignment. Uh, yeah, I mean credit. after voting for the war. Yeah. <laughs> after b destroying the place. You know, I was I was for it before I was against it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh yeah, I mean look, it's a step in the right direction. Obviously, next we can close Guantanamo and you know, you Guantanamo know. is is a, another story, man. Oh, well, that's, that's a very very sensitive topic. You're right. You're right. 
You know what? Let, let's get back to it. We'll put a pin in that for now. Yeah. We'll get back to it um, when we have more um, information. So, yeah. Uh, well, kudos to Biden. Good choice. Uh, hopefully he sticks to it. And uh, we don't feel sorry for your heartbreaks, Mr. Bush. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, that, I, I, I second that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll get back to you. Okay.